hope you're enjoying all of the Stamp Affair festivities. Uh, right now the team is here to share a bunch of do-it-yourself embellishment ideas. And I am going to show you how to create these uh, flower medallions using some of the paper tray ink doily dies. So uh, let's get started. Alright, so I'm starting out with a Parisian lace doily die, which I die cut from some of the aqua mist um, polka dot paper from the pattern packs. And um, I also then, after I die cut it, I took the Limitless Layers circle die and I die cut um, a circle from the center of the doily. And so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to um, snip through um, the, the doily so that I can begin fan folding it. I'm going to use the outside scallops of the doily as my guide and I'm going to go along and I'm just going to fan fold um, the entire length of this doily. I could use my score pal to get more precise uh, scoring but I really don't think it's necessary. I'm just going to do it by hand and it goes a lot quicker and really once the um, medallion is assembled it's it doesn't need to be exactly precise so this is a good enough method and it's nice and quick and easy so I'm just going to continue folding using those scallops as my guide and this can be done with any of the smaller um, like doily dies as well like the doily details dies would work as well with the same idea. Getting close to the end here. My folds are not all exact. They're not all exactly precise, but that's okay. It'll work out okay in the end. So when I end here, I'm going to make sure that my last fold is folding downward. So now I can open it up. And then I'm going to take some liquid adhesive and I'm going to put adhesive on the two ends of my fan folded strip. And then I'm going to take those ends and I'm going to press them together. Hold it for just a couple seconds and let that glue set. And I can see here that one of the ends is slightly longer, so I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm going to trim off that excess so that my rosette will lay nice and flat once I open it up. So I'm going to let that set for a couple minutes here while we um, punch out our circle to use as our base. This is um, the part that the doily, the medallion, is going to be attached to. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take some glue dots and I'm going to cover that circle with some adhesive. You could also cover it with some score tape or whatever else, whatever other you know adhesive that you prefer, but I'm just going to put some glue dots on the center of that circle. Just kind of cover up um, most of the circle with adhesive. So then we can take our rosette here, which should be pretty well dry, of that glue. You want to make sure that those ends aren't coming apart. And I'm going to kind of gather it up and place the center right in the center of that punched circle over top of the adhesive and then just go ahead and push it down. And I'm going to press kind of around the edges there and make sure it's holding. You can add some extra adhesive in under there too as well if it doesn't seem to be holding. And I'm just going to kind of straighten out the pleats and make it lay nice and flat. And that's really all there is to it. And then you can um, top it off with um, another punch circle and some buttons, whatever you want to embellish the center of that with. I'm just taking a three quarter inch circle punch and I'm going to put that over the center with a glue dot. Covers up that center um, hole there. And then you can top it off with a button as well which I have a Raspberry Fizz button here that I have threaded already. I'm just going to take some liquid adhesive and uh, adhere that right to the center. And that's all there is to it, really. It's pretty simple. 
So that's all for my uh, do-it-yourself embellishment for today, and uh, I hope you can put it to good use here with all of our Stamp Affair activities. I hope you're having a great time. This has been Betsy Veldman for Paper Tray Inc.